Welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Screw Guy channel. This day we're going to pick up where we left off on our live stream, which kind of got bogged down with uh, buffering issues, but eventually is overloaded on my CPU and overloading on my internet connection. When I hit install, it really kicked up the buffering problems until I just uh, froze and gave up the ghost. I thought I'd do this, this simple recording upload video to uh, go over Arch Linux installation because my goal is to install Arch Linux six uh, versions of, of the window manager desktops at a time and to uh, yeah, so that's basically what I'm going to do there. And we've got uh, Arco Linux. And the first thing I want to do is take a peek at the at the uh, website. I didn't get a chance to show that in the live stream anyway, so it's good. It's showing here what I was talking about there. So I'm going to go through the Arco Linux installation. Then I'm going to go through this every time for the, uh, for the reviews of the various window manager desktops I'm going to look at. Uh, there's 12 of them all together. What I'm planning on doing is doing two at a time since I don't have to really review the installation itself or even Arch Linux that much because, well, I'm just reviewing the desktops only. So I'm going to look at like HTOP and and what programs it has installed on and all that stuff all every time to look at the configuration file also what it looks like out of the box how how often Linux does it but the, the convenient thing one of the reasons I decided to do with Arch Linux is because it has the easiest to install uh, I mean it always installs configuration files usually with the Linux so when you boot into it it's usable I think to find out, but it's usable all out of the box. Whereas with like Qtile, you have to put your own configuration file in place for leave of work. So that's the issue with that. And yeah, so we're going to go through that now. There's also we're going to make this. I'm not going to really edit this video much. We're going to get to raw, just like a live stream view of what I went through in the live stream. On installing Arch Linux. The first is look at the uh, website and we'll go from there. Okay, you should be looking at the website, Arch Linux. And it says start here, so I would start there and you know, stop. But well, what I want to do is go to downloads. Click on that. Now, Arch Linux website isn't really is kind of confusing because you have all these various versions of Arch Linux. You got Arch Linux L, Arch Linux S, Arch Linux D, and Arch Linux B. You can download from here. You what? Well, I don't know which one of these I want. So, down here, you what I so what I so choose. You confused? You can go here and get more confused probably. Yeah, so it's got all this information. Here's where you got your different versions of Arch Linux. It's a little confusing looking. I'll admit. Yeah, the L on the end of Arch Linux, XL, stands for extra large. Comes X F C desktop. That's this is what I was looking for down here. So, couldn't find her while I was right here. All well, these XS, XC. I was trying to figure out which one's which. I can figure it out just by looking at this. So crowded with so much stuff. It's hard to decipher for all. Well, I finally noticed these little tiny letters XL, XS, E, and B. So that's what it says. Now this will so extra large means it'll install as much software as you can cram into your system on here. 
As says XFC4 with no software pre-installed. So it gives you the option to install software if you download this version of it. This XS as an extra small. Now DE as in the size of the desktop. You can pick what desktop you want to install on. What software you want to install on. Now here in B is build your own system. You can build your own ISO, which basically you choose the desktop, you install some normal amount of software pre installed, and then also there's like a different ISO for each installation desktop you want to use. So, this one I wanted to download was D. So once I figured that, I went back up and went to. Back. I want to go to D, I thought. Yeah, then I went to this D. So, okay, I'm going to go to D. Uh, suddenly I get all stuff. Well, if you look at them, this, this B. Like I say, you can download Awesome or Bungie. All these kind of BS bungee download. All these various desktops you can download under B. Build your own system. But I wanted something simpler to use. So I skip down all the way down to here to D. There's only one D because you install the system on the fly. This is the one I've installed. And then you can install your your uh not install but you can download your ISOs for not ISOs but download your hashtags so you can check, make sure they're downloaded correctly, you didn't have any errors, problems or situations. It needs to be re downloaded or something. So yeah. You got all that there. Then, well, that's what I downloaded. Anyway, it's kind of confusing if you're not do this all this stuff. You know, what is you expect D to take you to D, not all of a sudden, not B, and there's your S and your extra small, extra large versions with XFC desktop or pre installed on it. So anyway, that's what I did. That's what I got. That's what we're going to install. Okay. Now we're going to go over here. Now you see the uh, uh, boxes set up ready to go here. Go ahead, create. Now, you'll have your BIOS here, Arch Linux D, open source, your BIOS open source, I don't want no new venue means exactly, but I'm sure there's purpose for it. NVIDIA driver, if you have NVIDIA drivers, you probably want to install that one instead of open source. Uh, it does give you options to install later on, so I'm not sure what the purpose of that is, but I guess it defaults to uh, NVIDIA instead of having to make sure you click it in the list. We're going to go to that one since I don't have any NVIDIA drivers on, so I don't need them. So it'll boot up in there like that. So, yeah, the website's the only problematic thing with this. Uh, installation of Arch Linux is that the website's real cluttery and hard to navigate and figure out where you're going and what, what to download and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to figure that out actually, which one I need to download really when I got to the download function. I have other problems with it. So it has booting up. 
Probably a lot faster than it did in the uh, live stream version, apparently, <laughs> since it doesn't have all the limitations on CPU being maxed out and everything like it was. Yeah. So these parts I might cut out on this a bit more. But, yeah, this shouldn't be a too long a video, I don't think. So I'm not planning on being very long. Keep it short as possible here. I'm going to go through the whole install process because you're going to see that when you get the reviews of the window managers. So, I'm much point in showing the rest of that. Just, I'll get to the install part and I'll, I'll stop. That's what I should on the live stream. I'll be probably still been on there. At any rate, that's pop up on the install live stream and there's Arco Linux that's the standard Arco Linux graphic you'll see now here you can update your Arco Linux mirrors you should do as well as it gets the closest mirrors to you now mirror isn't something you look in and go oh I look nice don't I no Mirror is uh, basically an alternate side of the main side, which has the same information on it that the main side does. So you can go in your repository, you want to be as close as possible, have a repository of mirrors all over the world on Arco Linux, I mean Arch Linux. See up here it says it's done. Now run Gparted, you should do that or you can do that if you uh, have a if this was installed on a real computer with the, that already had stuff on the disk, you can clean it out. You can go to Departed, clean it out, and then go back and do the installation. So we have a blank disk anyway on this uh, virtual machine, so we're going to go on. Now this is where I got confused. I had base installation first time through. Uh, it's just a base installation. It doesn't set up any desktops or nothing. You're left with a, a console. That's it. And its installation allows you to set up your other stuff. So you want to do this one first. Oh no, you did this and then you did that one. No, you just do this one. Advanced installation. You want a desktop and all and software installed here. So we'll do advanced installation. Get this puppy on the road. Uh, now we're just going to show this one time. American English, yep, I'm American. I speak English, so that's good. Now, you notice all these little things in there, they're all software you can install on here. A lot of stuff on here, actually, you go through. Now, this Linux kernel, I don't know why I have a checkbox for it since it's installed by default, it says. So, I don't know. Now, I would recommend probably installing long-term support kernel, just as an alternate backup kernel. Something goes wrong with your most recent kernel. Like say you do an update and something goops up on it, you have your long-term support kernel you can back up on. You can go on to Tandy. A hard kernel. Now, I'm not sure exactly what all these mean. I know a lot of gamers like the Zen kernel, so if you plan on using this computer for gaming, I want to link Zen kernel. And it also, I got have AMD on my machine, so I'm going to install AMD code, which hopefully will help it work better. Next. Now we have NVIDIA, NVIDIA drivers here. If you have NVIDIA, you might want to install that. And BIOS UEFI installs the latest NVIDIA. So. That's where you, if you said, oh, dang, I meant to push video, you can click it there. Get it there. So like I say, since I have an AMD GPU, I'm going to click that. And we'll go on. You Bluetooth support, laptop support. What laptop support? It's things like TIP is the only thing that's <laughs> TLP, whatever. TLP, probably. 
Today we're discovering I'm going to do a network on this one. So I'm going to examine the printing support they have and sound. So it does two things. Samba, if you plan on doing networking, especially with Windows computers, you probably want Samba. Okay, now this is Logging Manager, which is normally the actual nomenclature is Display Manager. However, they know most people, especially people aren't familiar with the Linux. If they get this far, they probably are, but <laughs> yeah. People that aren't familiar with Linux would know and understand Logging Manager better than Display Manager. I don't know why they didn't call it that to begin with, but it is what it is. So I'm going to select GDM. That's GNOME Display Manager. Since I'm just going to use some generic uh, stuff and I know how that works, so we'll go with that. Could select SDM or LightDM. A lot of people like LightDM as a display manager, but EDM work for our purposes, so I'm going to select that. Now, here's our desktop options. Notice there's a whole lot on here. Best I can figure if I if I figure out which ones are actual desktop man, window managers, not desktops. There's 12 window managers on here. Awesome. ESPWM, uh, CWM, which I'm not familiar with that one, so we'll find out about that one. DWM, I also don't know anything about that one. FBWM3, I don't know anything about that one. Those are all ones we'll get to when we get there. Uh, Herb stuffle with wall wall wall. I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, got herb there and I3, which I've known that one. ISWM, DWM, uh, Open Box, which is a floating window manager. Got QTile, Spectrum WM, and Next Monad. So all the rest are desktops. You got Bungie, Cinnamon, Deepin, Gnome, Latte, Plasma, Yuki, I'm not familiar with this one. Yuki, Yuki, I guess I pronounce it. Except C4. All the desktops you have here. So if you want a desktop, you can definitely get it here, or you can install bunch of window managers now i wouldn't recommend installing like what i'm going to do with window managers you can install probably install 12 right here but i want to make sure i can see them on the on the desktop man display manager when i log into them so i'll just install these six right now i'll install the other six later on when i get to that point in my series of videos and then do to look at all these all right now Arch Linux yeah these are tools where you can get candy beauty icons yeah I used to like those a lot now I'm just set for normal stuff I don't need anything that fancy and Metafun I don't know what that is there's a bunch of others Samba, MetaStream, Steam Metas, Utilities, Wine, Teamure, Paleo Fetch Kit, Flex Simple, let me get. I'm not going to remess those right now. Communication, you got all these things here. Uh, Pigeon, Skype for Linux, Stable. Teams, Telegram, Tiger VNC, VNC obviously, Viper, WhatsApp, Fire, Desktop, Zoom. I've installed Zoom on here before, I'll install that so you can see it. it actually starts up and calls it. Development. These are like development programs like Adam. Like you can enter your uh, coding from code if you write programs, stuff like that. Some of these will be helpful for you. Excuse me. 
Gotta clear my throat every once in a while. Those parts I usually cut out of videos, but I'm gonna leave them in there because it's like a live stream type thing. So I'm gonna go on. So I don't mean to use this for coding. Under normal circumstances, out of my office suite, I'd install LibreOffice Fresh, but I'm not gonna install that right now. Well, I can now. I'm on live stream. But yeah, all the rest of it. Leave it as is. Fonts. How to install fonts. Multimedia. Now here's where I need to be a little more judicious. Like celluloid. Then for my video player. Now my uh favorite uh music player is cantata but they don't have it here so i'll probably either install clementine or i would install a lollipop down there but you can install the base underlying database for for cantata mpd if you wanted to i install that afterwards i'm not going to do that now now, a lot of these things are software you can install after the fact, if you wish. So, you really don't have to install any of these right now. You can just skip through them if you wanted to. So, we'll look at Brave. And we'll install Firefox. Theming. Yeah, the best, my favorite theme is probably a. Uh, Monte Black, Black Monte, whichever way it goes. I don't, know. Uh, I don't think they have it as an option here. So, not sure which of the other things I like particularly. I mean, they're all pretty good. Let's take what they have out of the box and leave it at that. Graphics. Now, I would usually click, I would usually click Inkscape and Krita. GIMP is uh, something a lot of people like to use. Use GIMP too. Or one of these other ones. Uh, Blender I'm familiar with a little bit, but Dark Table and this one I'm not sure what, what exactly they are or do. Or how to use them. I'm used to. I'm going to just pass on them for now. I can install it later if I wanted to. These are all games that you can have on have it installed on there. All the way down to game utility. Now, I say you want to install uh, Steam. Yeah, I'm assuming Steam Buddy and Steam Tweets, but I don't see Steam on here. Interesting. Oh, there it is. Our company's made of Steam. Tell you to install that it's under game utilities archivist meta steam it's called and you can install these two down here buddy and tweets too and so but i'm not installing any of that right now yeah it terminals up i remember right i think it installs alacrity out of the box automatically so we'll probably just go with that i like kitty obviously so i install kitty too So you can install any of those you want. You can install Vim. If you want a Vim on there, you can install it there. You can push you install it once you get on there too. Uh, my favorite favorite is Nemo. I'll select those two. Dolphin's a good option. As well as Kaj is okay. Thundar is pretty decent. PC Man FM is a good lightweight one if you want a lightweight call manager. That's one of the LXD uses. So, we'll go with those two. Now, USB disk utilities. Yeah, all these are now. I would probably install a Ventoy on here. It is like my primary drive, daily driver. But, 
I got some other burners or etcher. I don't see Rufus. Rufus, I think, is mainly a Windows program, so I'm not going to be there, but etcher is. In Toy, though, the cool thing about that is you can do, uh, you can set up a multi ISO East uh, loader. All you have to do is copy ISOs to the disk. Automatically list them up when it boots into it. Pretty cool. It works every time I've, I haven't had a distro yet, it hasn't worked on. That's pretty good. Anyway, then you got the utilities for time shift, butter, FS, you got grub, time shift, auto snap, and all these other ones here. You got caffeine. I need my caffeine, don't I? Catfish, flat pack, G calculator, all these other things you can install utilities. Long list of them. Now, all these are probably going to be, I don't know what Yin Yang X lunch are, but that's interesting. Then you have accessories you can get, which are going to be having a window manager. I'm going to use nitrogen for the wallpaper selector, the ranger. And password manager, privacy. You can put a Tor browser on here if you want privacy, more privacy beauty. Virtual box for Linux kernel. So maybe that's what I need on, on this machine or something. Oh, which kernel? That's probably what I need, yeah. Uh, let's see. And you saw ZSH on here instead of Bash. Or in addition to Bash, whichever one it is, I'm not sure. Probably in addition to. Okay. Now development. I think this is for developers and beta testers. Software. So we don't need that. We're not testing and doing beta testing. Okay, now we get back to the main part of the Calamars installer. America, Denver, yep. In the mountain time zone, so Default is English. Default. Yeah. You can type here if you want to make sure your keyboard's the K is a K and the D is a D on it. I know this from experience that that's one that works best for me. Now, here you get to your disk partitioning and stuff. Now, this select storage device you're going to have on there. And you can see it's the only one that I have on here because. That's the only one for this virtual machine. It's going to be empty. So I'll probably select erase disk. You may have more options on here. Basically, you'll probably have uh, options for. Excuse me. You probably have options for uh, producing, installing the current partition on it if it's already partitioned. Or it'll have options for doing a dual boot, maybe. And then you got manual partition, which you go partitioning yourself if you want to know what you're doing. I was thinking about maybe doing a video on how to do that at some point, but we'll see. And here you have your partition or no partition table at Arch Linux. And boot records are installed in here. And there. Okay, now we enter a name. Oops. And type my name, that'd be helpful. Oh, that's our code. Linux. A super secure password.
Uh, I usually click this because that allows me to just password for any pseudo stuff on this. Yeah. So, otherwise, you might have to use your your password. I have all this set up here and you hit install. And what I found out last time is that when you hit install, it really starts installing. It doesn't pop the little thing saying blah 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 blah. It's going to screw up your computer royally. <laughs> no, it doesn't say that. It says this is going to lead everything. Warning, this is permanent last step. So then you hit install most of Most Calamar installers have that. This one doesn't. Even once you install, it starts installing. So be sure everything set here if you want it. Summary. And. Way it'll go. It's pretty much even by the time you hit install, you pretty much want to install it anyway. So, yeah, we'll leave it there. We'll call it a day for the Lance Square Guy coffee chat issue. And, uh, yeah. So we'll leave it there, call it a day, and we'll be back next Sunday. I'll try and work on the encoding so we don't have so much buffering, that kind of thing. In the meantime, may the Linux Force be with you. Bye. Look forward to the videos on Arco Linux coming up. Thank you. The different window manager desktop says. Bye.